What's going on, everybody? Hi, guys. Welcome back to our channel. We've been gone for a while. As you can see, we have a little bundle of joy now in our lives. We wanted to document it all, but failed. At we that. failed. But we're back and ready to talk about our story. We wanted to talk to you guys about when we went to the hospital, how the laboring process went, when it was time for little baby Zen to come into this world. We have some pictures here and videos that we kind of documented the whole process with on our phones. Um, so we're gonna talk over them, put them on screen, and bring you on this journey with us. Ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. So to begin, my due date was January 27th. I would have been 40 weeks pregnant with Zen. So at one of my last OB appointments, I was approaching 40 weeks. So they um, scheduled an induction for me. So I want to tell you guys just because the whole process of getting this little guy was was pretty stressful. The, the induction and all of it just lasted for what we thought was really long. <laughs> um, but she was supposed, Cody was supposed to get induced on like what the 25th or something yeah 24th and 25th one of those days yeah the hospital just didn't have a bed for us they didn't have a bed so they kept telling us they to call back yeah kept telling us to call back the 26th we went through the whole day of calling and them not so having true. anything uh 27th the morning of they didn't have anything. anything and then we called back at night and they had something so here is the picture of Cody basically getting checked into her room. It is January 27th at 9.58 p.m. Here's another one. Basically like last bump pictures. Yeah, last bump pics. <clears throat> they started an IV and they started Pitocin through my IV, which um, if you don't know, it just basically induces labor. It makes you start having contractions. Um, so they had me on the monitor, um, I was just trying to take the contractions, the pain, as long as I could. <clears throat> so yep, that yep. was how the night started. Yep. Fast forward to 10.49pm. <laughs> I'm already crying. <laughs> yep. uh, things got pretty painful, contractions were coming on pretty strong, pretty frequently. Again, I was just trying to hang tight. Oh, also, I was 3 centimeters dilated at this point. Yeah, that's kind of what she went into this process with. Yeah. At. So things got pretty painful. Definitely after all was on my mind yep. at this he point. Here's another video from 11.39 p.m. I was just kind of holding Cody's hand. She was in a lot of pain. We moved over. She moved over to the medicine ball, just sitting on that, kind of bouncing a little <laughs> bit, rocking back and forth. Um, I mean, it didn't help too much with the pain. Um, oh, well, I mean, they were trying to progress labor and get him to go down, so that's why we were doing that. So it didn't doesn't really help with the pain. This is 12:13 uh, a.m. on the 28th, so we are now officially on Zen's Dude, birthday. Or, yeah, birthday. Perfect. Cody was finally trying to like get in some nappage. I was so. trying to find my 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 Zen. <laughs> Good one, I was man. trying to, um, <laughs> I was just trying to chill. We were watching Netflix on Eric's laptop. She um, fell asleep on my shoulder. For like a minute. Neither of us got much sleep. This <laughs> clip right here is going to be Cody's kind of like first update. So let's check it out. Hi everyone. It is hey. two, what's time? 2.45? Yeah, 2.40. <laughs> it's 2.40. Um, in the morning. In the morning. I have, my contractions have gone from not hurting to hurting really badly. So, um, they gave me fentanyl and, um, they're hydrating me for an epidural and, um, four centimeters dilated and that's the update. Yep. Hopefully, uh. We can get some sleep here, and the baby can progress while she sleeps. Yeah, hoping I get a nap in when I get my epidural. I tried to hold off, but don't know if you can tell, but I've been crying. Because it yeah, hurts. It's been pain. It I'm, looks very painful. I've been, I tried to hold off. And here's Zen's heart rate. Oh, I can't zoom in on video. 123. This is heart rate right now. 
So we're tired, but we're doing, no sleeping yet. We're doing okay. Yeah, doing okay. We'll check back in in a bit. Just so basically, yeah, the video just said I was getting hydrated for my epidural. I let them know that I couldn't take it anymore and I was ready for an epidural. So yeah, let's play the next video. Hi, my ugly. Oh, it's recording. <laughs> um, okay, it is, what time is it? It is 4.50. Don't look at my double tip. It's, um, 4.50, huh? 4.50 a.m. 4.50. Um, I got my epidural. It was okay. <clears throat> I tried not to move. Um, it was a little pinch. Um, my legs are warm. Um, I put in a catheter. They have my leg up to try to get him down. Um, I'm a little shaky. Um, not cold? Not really cold. My contractions um, feel just like pressure, like poop pressure. And what are you dilated to? Dilated to a four and a half. And um, at one point, Zen's, after the epidural, um, Zen's heart rate went down because my blood pressure dropped. So they stopped the Pitocin and then repositioned me, and then it ended up going, his heart rate went back to normal, so. Um, now we're gonna nap. So basically the epidural, getting the epidural wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, you just had to really like push your spine out, so it was just an uncomfortable position to be in. Um, it was just a little pinch, <clears throat> and then my legs weren't completely numb. I could kind of wiggle my feet still. My legs felt really warm. And then, like I said, like I said in the video, the contractions just felt like pressure in my bottom. What I was going to say is the part where Cody talked about Zen's heart rate dropping, like during the, the contractions, that was like the start of basically what kept on happening throughout this whole laboring process. Like we were just going around yeah. and around. Yeah, so like this was the first time, Zen was but they would stop the Pitocin, let Zen catch up, let Cody rest a little bit, start it back up again, and then it would just be the same cycle. cycle. They would have to That's keep stopping it. So next right. video is at around nine in the morning, and let's play it. Okay, update. Um, it's 8.49 and um, the day nurse checked checked um, to see if I was dilated and she said like a five or six. Um, and more amniotic, a lot of amniotic fluid came out when she did the cervical check. Um, the Pitocin has been stopped um, because um, Zen's heart rate was going down. He was like stressed out, so um, she is monitoring it and then wants to start it again soon. We're just waiting and she's just repositioning me. They want him lower. He's still yeah. too high. You kind of already said this, but you also got your um, water broken since the last video. Oh yeah, yeah. I had my water broken. Did I didn't say that in the video? No. The last update was your epidural. Oh, oh, I had my water broken. This morning. This Maybe morning. a couple hours ago. Yeah. Two hours ago. So, hopefully that brings him down is what they want. He said my cervix is like thinning, which is good. And I'm dilating, but he needs to come down. Because that's where he's going to exit. So. Alright. We wait. Sign in now. Yeah, so like I mentioned in the video, they broke my water um, around like 6 or 7 a.m. on the 28th. And just amniotic fluid just like kept coming out continuously throughout the day. And so yeah, they were hoping that would bring him down and labor would continue to progress. As you guys can see, Zen's heart rate issue happened again there. So before we get into the next video, it's basically like, right, that last video is at 8.49 a.m. The next video is going to be at 5 p.m. 
So I'll let Cody kind of explain how the day went in between there. So basically, Friday, January 28th, that day was a struggle. So yes, I had the epidural. Yes, it took the pain away. However, my epidural was wearing off, like the medicine. And all of a sudden, boom, my contractions were back and you know, they were like, well, what level, what level is your pain at? And it was like, it was a 10. Like, it was like the worst pain ever, honestly. And so um, we had to keep calling the anesthesiologist in the room to you know, assess the epidural and or give me more medicine through my epidural IV, which was in my back. So they were like, this shouldn't be happening. I'm not sure why it's wearing off. Maybe you're metabolizing it quickly, yada, yada. Maybe we need to redo the epidural. And I was like, oh my gosh, no. So I think they had, the anesthesiologist had to come in, what, three times, I think? So that was a struggle in itself. And it was very frustrating, honestly, because like I just kept, the pain just kept coming back. So we were basically dealing with that. And then in the middle of the day, we had like a nurse swap and like, it was just, it was just kind of chaotic. During the day, they just kept trying different positions and things to progress labor. And then this next video, like Eric was saying, is not till uh, the nighttime. Action. Okay. Hi everybody. It is five o'clock. Five o'clock. Um, I am eight centimeters dilated. Um, the anesthesiologist <clears throat> gave me more epidural medicine because I was getting, I was in a lot of pain. Um, so now I'm sitting like this to get him to the final descent. And, um, she's going to check me in a couple hours or if I want to be checked because I'm feeling a lot of pressure. And once I'm at 10, then me and the nurse will start doing practice pushes and then she'll call the doctor and we'll have a baby. Very soon. Very soon. Woo! I look really swollen because they are pumping me with so much fluid. At the end of that video, like, we literally thought he was going to be coming come soon. soon. Yeah. Vaginally. Anyway, so this next picture, we were ha <laughs> I think we were happy because we thought he was going to come soon. Yeah, we were um, celebrated with popsicles. Pop so, <laughs> uh, let me preface this next video. Uh, basically, so the doctor came in. Um, I think he came in around 7 p.m. and he was like, how you doing? And he checked to see how things were and I was still only eight centimeters dilated. And he kind of mentioned like, hey, we might have to do a C-section. And Eric and I looked at each other and we're like, mm, maybe not. Because yeah. uh, we had gone through all this. We were just like, we want to do everything possible to do before a vaginal. that. Yeah. We continued to try to do everything we could to get him to progress, to just do a vaginal delivery. Uh, and things were not progressing. So I think it was like around not, like two hours later, nine o'clock. I didn't even know the doctor was still there. He came back in the room and he was like, we're gonna have to do a C-section. This baby's not like, your water has been broke for over 12 hours at this point, uh, which increases the risk for infection. So um, was I happy about it? Not really, but I just wanted to get Zen out in a safe way and everything would be okay. And honestly, I had been laboring for 24 hours at that point and I was just like, I was so exhausted. Once you have your water broken, the risk just goes up yeah. the longer mm -hmm. that your water has been broken and the baby yeah. has not come yet. Mm -hmm. So and also we were just wanting to be smart at that point. Yeah, and also, but also what was going through my head, well, I've never had a major operation. I've never been hospitalized, none of that. And also what was going through my head is my epidural that kept wearing off. And so I was like, oh my goodness, is my epidural gonna work during the C-section? I was just, yeah. I was literally terrified. Like anxiety through the roof, um, adrenaline through the roof. Like no I was sleep. exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, no sleep. And the labor shakes were definitely kicking in, which was hands down was like, like one of the top yeah. worst things about labor I feel like, and that whole process. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you underestimated those or yeah, maybe you just absolutely. didn't know how much like like, torture heard those are? No, let's just play yeah, the video. Yeah, let's just play it. Okay, 9.02 p.m. We're going to C-section. I'm tired. What time is it? I don't know. It's 9 p.m. We've been here... We've been here over 24 hours now. We've done everything we could. Um, and it's C-section time. It's gonna go great. Love you. Love you. So, yeah. <laughs> um, My face says it all. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, 
I was just kinda, scared, I think. Just all the things. Yeah, it kind of escalated really quick at that point. This photo right here is at 9.25. I had to gown up, obviously, and they did let me in there. I didn't watch it, though. I didn't want to. You but, stayed protected but I was, behind my yeah, little curtain. Yeah, there was a curtain, and I was just, like, with Cody. And that's all I needed. That's all you needed, hopefully, and that's all I needed. Yeah. So, yeah, and then next thing we knew, 9.44 p.m., our little bundle of joy arrived. When we first heard his cry, it was just, I mean, Cody was so uncomfortable. And My heart rate was like racing. But the anesthesiologist kept telling me to like take a deep breath. But at the same time, it was just like such like I could not an believe inexplainable we were, moment. Yeah, yeah, like I could not believe we were hearing this baby cry that was that grew inside my belly for nine months. Yeah, it was. It was just so insane. But anyways, here's Zen's little first photo. Um, first photo of life. Yes, he actually. Um, he like had his eyes open. We were surprised at how alert he was. He's obviously really puffy right here, kind of yeah. looking like an alien. Yeah. But it was just crazy. He was healthy. He was fine. Yep. They said everything looked perfect. Mm -hmm. And here's first picture of Zen meeting mommy. And I was really trying to enjoy that moment, but it was hard. Like, see, if you've never had a C-section, obviously you don't feel them cutting you open. You don't feel any of that. But it's basically you can feel them like pushing around your organs, like looking for your uterus, like it's just a lot of pulling, tugging, pushing, pressure, like all those kind of things. So these next couple pictures are just in the operating room of us hanging out with Zen while they finish stitching me up. Yeah, I mean Cody wasn't really hanging out, she was in like, just... I was trying to like... I don't want to say you were in for pain. The <laughs> yeah, you weren't no, in pain. No, but I was so uncomfortable yeah. though. So this picture was in the recovery room. Um, again, my labor shakes were so bad after, um, in, even in the recovery room. Um, so it was hard to hold him. I was like holding him and like shaking him, um, but I was just trying to enjoy the moment. But and then here's his little announcement photo. We it's, the swaddle so funny because I could barely move like in the postpartum, you know, unit in, in our room. I struggled to freaking. Do make a swaddle. swaddle. Yeah. So Eric had to like do the swaddle, <laughs> the diaper changes and things like that. So yeah, we just recovered for a couple of days and then we ended up going home on Sunday. Yeah, so he was born on Friday and then we went home on, on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Well, Friday night. So Friday that means He was born count. Friday night, yeah. And yeah. So, so you had like a day to recover. Yeah, we went home pretty fast. Here's our going home picture. There we are. Yeah. So that is pretty much our story for getting our little zen into this world. And it's been crazy but amazing at the same time and mm -hmm. just totally worth it. Totally fulfilling. Cody and I have just always wanted to be parents. We're it's trying just... to soak up every moment like everybody's been telling us to, but he's going to be four weeks old on this week on Friday. And it's just like flown by already. Like how how has four weeks gone by already? I don't know, but yep. we're just trying to just stare at him as much as we can. He'll never be this <laughs> tiny and crabby again. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that and thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Uh, catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay.